Hello everyone and welcome to our tutorial series on an intro to Bootstrap. My name is Nimish and I'll be guiding you through the next videos in which we'll be getting an intro into what Bootstrap is and how to use it. Once we are comfortable using Bootstrap, we can then move on to actually building a few projects and I'll let Mario take over. So for starters, what is Bootstrap? Well, Bootstrap is simply an open source framework that's used to develop websites and web apps basically anything web related. Bootstrap is generally based on HTML and CSS. There's a little bit of JavaScript functionality in there, but mostly it's just pure HTML CSS. And Bootstrap provides pre-formatted templates for common frames and widgets. We basically use these pre-formatted frames and widgets to help build up our web pages by specifying containers and adding in the necessary widgets. So why bother using Bootstrap? Well, for starters, Bootstrap just generally makes web development easier and faster. Using Bootstrap allows us to quickly build good looking web pages and web apps with relatively little work. The widgets and frames provided are pre-formatted to already look good. This eliminates the need to go through and painstakingly apply CSS formatting to every single HTML element or frame that we want to add into our web page. Basically, using Bootstrap, we can build up a web page that looks good very, very quickly, rather than having to build first the HTML frame and then go through each individual container and element and style it. For example, using Bootstrap, we can just simply add a button to our page, specify it to be off the Bootstrap button class, and it will likely already have some kind of color. It will probably have rounded edges, maybe a nice font, on hover behavior, among others. These are all attributes that we would have to specify ourselves if we were not using something like Bootstrap. Now, we'll really quickly talk here about how to use Bootstrap, then we'll end this section and head on over to the actual web page itself where we'll get a better understanding. There are four basic steps to using Bootstrap. The first will be to add the necessary header files to your HTML file, or rather, header tags. Once we have those header tags added, that gives us access to the entire Bootstrap framework. We then go online to the Bootstrap web page and we find the widgets and frames that we want and basically just copy and paste the code from there. One of the best things about Bootstrap is that it's open source, so we can literally take the source code provided and use that right in our web pages. So let's say we wanted a couple of buttons in our web page. We would simply go to the Bootstrap web page find out the where the buttons are stored and all of the information about them. We can choose the kind of customization we want and then we can literally copy and paste the code right from the web page into our own HTML file. Step number three is further customizing widgets and frames by implementing other options. Let's go back to that button example. There isn't just one type of button in Bootstrap, there are many other ways we can customize that button. For example, perhaps we'll want a large versus a small button. Perhaps we'll want a certain font or a completely circular button versus a square button. After this comes step number four, which is to customize our elements further using custom CSS. Of course, we don't just have to use everything that Bootstrap provides. We can customize things even further. Let's say I wanted a very specific width and height for my button. Well, if we were to just use a pure bootstrap button, it comes with a set width and height that varies a little bit depending on the content and the style of button we use. But let's say I want my button to be exactly 150 pixels in width. Well, I can absolutely do that. I'd maybe just give that button an ID or I'd go right into the buttons class. And then under my CSS, I can add in a custom width and height to that button. So we can essentially do everything that we would do with a regular web page applied to those Bootstrap elements. Bootstrap is really just there to provide us a pre-implemented and pre-formatted widget or frame that we can then customize further. Okay, so this has been a really quick intro into what Bootstrap is and how to use it. Like I said, in the next section, we'll be taking a look at the Bootstrap web page itself and getting an idea of how to first grab the elements we want and then how to add them to our code. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next section.